calm. Make the people calm. Less trucks and cars. More chocolate bars. Hold on, that's my chair. Oh, yeah. oh, I see what you're doing there. Yeah, there we go. Okay, that's fine. What I do is I sit at my table and I have the typewriter in front of me and I put a piece of paper into the typewriter and I type the proposal and that's when I think of the idea. And so the proposal is a description of the project but it's the beginning. And that you can imagine how different something is at the start when you describe it to how it is. Here we are 14 months later, a year and a bit later, talking about the same project. Because when I first wrote that proposal, I had no idea that the project was going to be as big as it is now and involve so many of you. The, the project came about, I was first approached by M Dash Foundation and I wanted to explore the idea of uh, giving, um, there was, uh, at the time when the project, at late uh, 2013, there was a lot of news about the idea of protesting from an adult perspective, from an adult point of view. And both my children at that point had started going to school, so I was thinking what it would be like to get children to protest. And so this was one of the proposals that um, was proposed to MDASH that became Notes on Protesting. The Whitechapel got involved and supported the project. Very luckily, they introduced me to Marion Richardson School. Some of the children are here as well who are going to help me tell you about the project. Why, uh, why we did it? So, but it is a very good question, why did we do it? But I, I, what, what I wanted to, to do is to work with you to, to realise or to, to explore the idea of what it was that if you had the chance to tell everybody what you'd like to change, that this is what you'd like to change. So things like, you know, clean up after your dog or no more homework. I had no idea those were the things that you were thinking about. Well, but at the very beginning, we started talking about what an artwork could be and thinking about sculpture and painting and performance and then thinking about performance and the relationship between an audience or the audience and a group of performers. And in this case, it was all of uh, four or three B and three H. And thinking about rules for a space and that space we chose was the library. And then we thought about more spaces and then looking at what happened if you wanted to break the rules, if you wanted to change something within that environment. And then beyond that set of rules, beyond being in school, we then looked at things locally within East London, and then within London nationally, and then we were looking at all the different ways of how you could demonstrate looking, and then finally looking at the United Nations on an international level. And then we looked at different spaces. Do you all remember looking at uh, uh, making rules for different spaces? Yes. yes. Oh, I remember. One was um, space, a farm, a library. A library and one more um, tree house. Tree house, very good, yeah. And we just started doing like, we started doing our own laws or rules for a library and then, our, then we started doing our own rules for like the world and then and then we, we learned this new song about United Nations and then we carried on from there. Yeah with lots of other ideas that we don't like in this um, world, like dog poop, um, homework, um, cooked tomatoes, <laughs> and other things. Do you all remember how we, how we got to the lyrics, how we got to the words? Do you yes. remember how we did that? Uh, we got a sugar paper and then we done a sort of brain map and then we, what we don't like and what we like and then that's how you um, put them together. What do you think was the importance of using banners? Or, oh, so, yeah. so that the people, just in case they didn't understand what we were saying, um, they, they could um, look at the banner and understand what it's about. <coughs> yeah, that's brilliant. Didn't it? Oh, yes. The people in Noah are protesting. Uh, and did, did you think it worked? But I still see more dog dirt on the floor. Is that disappointing? Yeah. Good. yeah. yeah. Mm. So all the words belong to you, don't they, as two classes, all the words. Yeah, but you put them all, together. Well, that's true. I did put them together. That's very true. But no. without you writing those words and without you pointing out to no. me what so you wanted to change. So without without you, how you can how we <coughs> can make the song. I know, but that's very generous of you. But without you, the two classes, so I wouldn't have been able to do it. Some of us 
some of us, we, uh, in 4C, we made our own song and then you put it together with 4 h ones. That's right, yeah. You know, as we were going along and we were singing the songs, did you realise that actually, although there were 60 of you, it was all together, wasn't it, that your yeah. voice was so, it was just using your voice not individually but as one. Like one big group, because like, if you sing in a single, single file, it won't make as, as well as all together. Like, You're absolutely one. right. They can't ignore you, can they? Because you all agreed to say, I want to complain about no more cooked tomatoes or clean up after your dog. Holding black cards and banners are like touching diamonds, aren't they? They're like touching diamonds. They're holding yeah. them. Yeah. We're yeah. famous. Some other famous people, they paint, isn't it? Like paint stuff. Yeah. 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 They cost so yeah. much money. Yeah. They feel like it's diamonds to the world. Oh, I see. Oh, now I understand. I understand. Now you understand. They draw the picture and it looks perfectly nice. They sell it and then they think like the money's diamonds to them. I yes. see, yes. What's the best thing about performing? What's the best thing about standing up there and singing the songs that you Gaining made Gaining the confidence you you don't have inside you. Oh. And and why why do you th why do you, why does it help you do you think how does it help? Because if you have no confidence, then you can't do anything in front of people. But by doing it, and what do you think? And um, if you're nervous by doing it, um, when you're on stage, it's like it flows away. It just disappears. Yeah. And does it help all being on stage together? Yep. Fantastic. Yes. Yes, go. Uh, we will be afraid if. Um, we will make a mistake, but we will still have uh, confidence. I'm sure you won't make a mistake. You're so good. And actually, mistakes are just part of it. It's every time you perform it, it's different. And, and there's a and song we, called I Want to Change My Confidence. confidence. Yeah. And if, if we made a mistake accidentally, then we'll just carry we'll be, yeah, we would just carry on yeah, and definitely. forget about the mistake. So then next time when we do it, we'll learn from it. I think that the children have really strong ideas about local issues and I think it's really important for the children to see the process and how their voice can be heard if they come together. So if they want to protest, they can stand together, they can take their ideas to various people through protesting. This is Abraham's idea for a trailer for Notes on Protesting performance. The performances are at, uh, 12 p.m. on the 1st of May on 2015, and now they're going to sing for you No More Homework. You ready? One, two, three. What do we want? No more homework when you want it, never! Oh, very good. Story, boy, and don't forget. <laughs> well done. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, everybody.